Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful retro royal bracelet. It's easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials linked to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, especially on my Facebook or Instagram pages. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. Tell me in the comments do you want me to make matching earrings to this bracelet and I will probably do them. You could also check my second channel Bijutel Fast Clips for new inspiration. Link in description. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, and what I'm going to use for this video are two colors of 11 o seed beads and these are two colors of super dual beads that match these 11 o seed beads. And here I use a toggle clasp in golden color. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle scissors. And these are pliers that I use to attach my clasp to my work. Okay, so now I'm going to take a comfortable length of thread on my needle. Let's say half an arm span or an arm span. It depends uh, how you feel better. And we are going to start. Okay guys, and I'm starting by picking up a stopper bead and I'm sliding it down, but I'll leave a small tail here, let's say 10 inches of tail, because later I will want to finish my work with this tail, okay? Now I make here this stopper bead stay in my work, okay? You could go twice if you want but later you will have to remove it okay so now what i want to take is one golden bead slide it down okay like this and now i'm going to pick up two more golden beads and i'll slide all of those down okay now in my next step i will arrange them like this one is sticking out in one direction and the other two in other direction. Okay, so now I'm going through the empty hole of this last super dual here. So I'm zigzagging. I'm going first in this direction and, the, and now in this direction. And now I'm going to pick my middle color and I'm going here in the next super dual. Okay, now I have this. Then, because my edge is all of golden beads, I will take one golden super dual, slide it down just like this. And then I will go back through this one in this direction. So I'm zigzagging again, I'm going through this hole in this direction and through this hole in this direction and I'm pulling my work. Okay, now my middle color, which is chameleon color. I like this chameleon so much. Okay, now it comes again chameleon and I'm sliding it down. Okay. Now I will take a golden and when I take it I will turn it in this direction you see this empty hole of this bead is turned in this direction because I want to go through it and then I want to go through all of those beads in this direction okay you see i'm going through all of them because i will be repositioning all the time 
Here I'm using one needle technique, that's why I'm gonna be repositioning. But I think the element feels better when it's uh, a little bit more secure with a lot of thread pads through it. So I chose to do this technique. So now I'm going through all of those beads again because I reposition. I want to go out of the bottom hole of this bead and I'm going to slide down my next golden bead. Okay, I have this. Then I'm going here through the empty hole of the same bead and I'm zigzagging again. I'm first going through one of the holes, then I'm turning the bead downwards with the empty hole downwards. And now I'm going to take another golden because only the four beads in the center are in this chameleon color. Only four of them, the others, all the other beads are in golden color. Okay, now I take again one of the chameleon to finish this central diamond shape of four beads. Okay, then I'm going to take one golden, slide it down. You see what I have? And here I'm missing one bead, so I'm going to pick it up. Okay, I'm taking it. Sliding it down, but I will turn it in this direction, not as my other bit, but in this direction, pointing. This one is pointing with the empty hole in this direction, and this one is pointing with the empty hole in the other direction. I'm just arranging them according to my work. Following my pattern and then going with my thread through the holes to make it stay nice and solid. So now I'm going again to reposition. Okay, here don't go through this last bit, I went too far. But when you're here, here exiting out of this hole just go through this golden and take one golden go here then one more golden go here and i will again reposition because I want to finish my work. Okay, and now go here through this bit. Don't go through this hole, only through this inner hole here of my inner golden bead. Okay, here. Then I go in this golden bead. And I'm adding this last one and the first element of my bracelet is ready and again what I'm going to do is some repositioning because guys my goal you see here where I'm exiting out of the inner hole of this last bit you see my goal is to exit here at this last bit and I will continue with my work in this direction okay now I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is remove this tail thread. And now I'm going to pick another needle or you could take out this needle and put it here and I will put it at this end here. Okay, I will come back in a while. Okay guys, and off camera I put another needle here on my thread and I wanna, because this is the starting point of my bracelet, I wanna make here a loop uh, where later I will attach my clasp to it. Okay, so now this is my work, I removed the stopper bead and now I wanna do some repositioning. I'm going here through these beads. in this direction, exiting here. Okay, so now I'm exiting here 
through two of the beads. I'm not exiting through this hole, but through the inner hole of this last bead, which will be the first one of my bracelet, okay? And now I'm going to pick up six of these beautiful chameleon beads, okay? I have six and here will be where I will attach my clasp later. This will be the loop that I'm gonna be using to attach my clasp and because I want it to be strong I will reinforce it. Okay, and after I reinforce it, I want to find a place to make a knot and I prefer to make it, oops, sorry, my uh, needle went out, but I will make here my knot. I will put my needle on and I'll be back to show you. Okay, and here I'm going to make a knot and I'm making it by making here a loop between those two beads. Okay, here is the loop and I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I'm started it and I pull. And then guys, you could repeat this knot several more times if you want. And then go through the following C bead and cut your thread okay now i finish this part of my bracelet and from here on i will continue with my main thread here and how i do this i'm taking one chameleon bead sliding it down just like this next to my work and i'm going then through its empty hole so it's the same zigzagging that I showed you before, going through one of the holes and then through the other. Now it's time to add a golden because this will be the first golden of my next element. And these chameleon beads are just uniting the elements. Okay, now I'm going to take one of those slide it down and turn it in this direction. You see what I'm doing? I'm just making a transition between my first and my second elements. And I go like this to be, make possible to start my next work, okay? Then I go here through this golden, but not through the chameleon, only through the inner hole of the golden because my goal is to exit out of this hole of my golden. And from here on, I will start another element just like this. Imagine that you start from here where the stopper bead was. It is absolutely the same thing, but I'm going to show this anyways. Okay, I take one golden like this and I'm going through its other empty hole. Okay, now I'm going like this and like this through the same golden bead. And okay, I take a chameleon and I'm sliding it down just like this. In the beginning, it's a little bit difficult to make it. Okay, and I push it with the empty hole to this side. And then I'm taking another golden, slide it down, and I'm turning it in this direction. Okay, I'm just arranging my beads the way they should stay. Okay, now you know what I'm doing. A reinforcement. Okay, now I have here this part ready, you see, then 
I go through all of those beads. And now you could use this one as a pattern. Okay, I take one golden, slide it down. And as I'm going through one of its holes, I'm going also through the other empty hole. Then I take one chameleon. I go here. Okay. And one more chameleon. Okay, and slide it down. Turn it in this direction. Okay, and probably you see what is missing here. I'm sliding this golden bead down. Okay, because I need it here at the end. And I'm going through its empty hole and I'm pointing the empty hole here in this direction. Okay. Going like this. Then I want to reposition like I did before. Going here through all of those beads. And here I'm also going through the last hole of my golden. One golden. Slide down. Go here through the empty hole. Take one more golden. Go here. Okay. One more. Go here. Okay. Then one more. Slide it down like this. Okay, then one golden to finish my work and I think you could guess in which direction I'm going to put it. Okay, just like this. Just to form this beautiful shape. This beautiful diamond shape. And of course, I'm making the familiar repositioning, exiting out of the inner hole of this bead. And I'm here where I'm about to add the last three beads of this next element. Okay, and I'm adding them just like this. And I'm exiting here where the last element is. Okay, so now there are two ways you could do this. First, you could make the whole bracelet this way and then add these beautiful seed beads, rings here uh, or loops here. Uh, but I will show you another way. I will come back to add them now. Okay guys, and my goal was to reposition my thread from here to here and I showed this faster because you don't need to watch me all the time how I'm doing it. Okay, so now I will pick up three chameleon beads, three golden beads and three chameleon beads. 
okay i have them here and as i'm exiting through this one i will go through the other one in the same place in my other element okay from here to here okay now i want to do the same thing from the other side okay i will pick up the same sequence of beads and here they are three chameleon three goldens three chameleons and i'm going here in this place okay now i want to do my next row and in order to do this the shorter way to go out is here okay so now i'm going to add it so this is what i pick up two chameleons one golden two chameleons three golden two chameleons one golden and two chameleons pause this video and pick those up and now i'm exiting here and i have my second row ready and what i want to do is that i want to go through all of those beads in this direction and i'm exiting here and now i will pick up the same sequence and i'll be back and now i have the same sequence if you want pause it and pick it up and now i'm going here through this one okay then what i do is that i want to exit out of the next super duo of this row like this and here i'm going to pick up another sequence and i'll be back so this is my next sequence three chameleon one golden three chameleon three golden three chameleon one golden and three chameleon and pick it up okay pick up the, this sequence here again okay guys and i pick up the same sequence if you want pause it and pick it up okay so now i'm exiting here and now i have the same thing from both sides now guys i'm going to reposition my thread and exit here and i'll be back okay guys so now i'm exiting here at the top and from here on imagine you that you are here and if you don't remember how I'm doing it, just rewind the video from here, add these two, then this one, and start another element, and then go back and make those beautiful rings of beads here. And uh, if your thread is over, just make a knot, cut it, take a new thread, make a knot, and continue with it, and you should cut its tail thread. If you don't know how to add more thread, just write me in the comments and I'll give you a place where um, I'm showing how to add more thread. Okay, so when you finish this bracelet, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and when I continue beading, this is what I have. You see how beautiful this bracelet looks? And I think six elements are enough to make it because my wrist is small. And now, if you want you could add one more element but i'm also using a toggle clasp which is a little bit bigger so now after i attached my last ring here of beads i went through all of those beads and exited here where i will do the same thing that i showed you before i will pick up six of these beautiful chameleon beads okay six of them and I'm going back. If you didn't understand something, just rewind the video and repeat the steps. Okay, so now I will make a reinforcement like I showed you before. And I will make a knot. And I'll be back to tell you how to attach your clasp. 
Okay guys, and now I'm here where I'm going to attach my toggle clasp to my work. Okay, so this is my toggle clasp, this is my jump ring. I open this one up. I put it here and I take this part of my toggle clasp. And then what I do is that I squeeze back in the same direction as I opened it. Okay. Now I have this and I will repeat it from the other side and I'll be back. Okay guys, and when I repeated it from the other side, my Royal Retro Super Do and Seed Beats bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe. You will be inspired often, usually twice a week, sometimes three times a week. And I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done. So uh, you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. Tell me in the comments, do you want me to make matching earrings to this one? And uh, if you want, I will make them. You could also check my second channel, Bijutail Fast Clips, and if you like it, subscribe there as well. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye from me.